Hi guys! So I'm 28 weeks and 3 days today, and she's kicking me really hard right now. Ow! Oh, sorry. Okay, um, speaking of kicking me really hard right now, uh, Lilia's new thing is, um, kicking mommy so hard that it hurts. <laughs> she always kicks me and punches me and... Oh my gosh, knees me. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's so cool because you can see like these little like things poking out, but it hurts. Like, oh my gosh. I mean, not, I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it's like, ow, like, what, what are you doing in there? <laughs> and actually we were at the DMV, um, yeah, sometime last week and we had to sit there because if you guys have been to the DMV, then you know that, um, whenever you get there, you have to wait forever. So we were sitting in the chairs and um, Lolia was doing her little dancing thing and then Gabe, I told Gabe to put his hand on my stomach and he put it um, up on like the top of my stomach and he can feel her moving around and he's like, oh that's so cool and all of a sudden she was like, whoosh, like just up and down and he freaked. He was like, oh my gosh, Jessica, you don't even know. Like it, it was poking out. It was like this. It was like this. And he kept t taking my shirt and like showing me through the thing. He's like, you don't even know. And I was like, yeah, I do. I was like, she does that all the time. And oh my gosh, she thought that was the coolest thing in like the world. My bladder is always full. Oh my gosh. Like, well, it's not even full. My bladder just, it's like, I have this constant pressure on my bladder. Like she is, loves to sit on my bladder, or well, she's head down, so she loves to use my bladder as a pillow, and oh my goodness, it always, so I feel like I always have to pee, and then I'll go, and I think I said this last week, and like, I'll pee for like two seconds, and I'm like, are you serious? And, but it's just this constant pressure, and it's like, not comfortable at all. Also, I've been having, I've had back pain, um, almost my entire pregnancy, but now she'll do this thing where she'll roll a certain way, and I'll get this like, stabbing back pain, like, just like, go like all down my back and it's in my it's like in my lower back she'll just like do like a roll or something and then I'll just get like this nerve like this nerve will just like set off and go Poof. and I'm like ow so, so sometimes I'll just be standing there and I'll be like ow <laughs> like ah that was my back <laughs> so yeah that's that's not very comfortable either <laughs> and another thing which is kind of weird is um like my morning sickness is starting to come back in the mornings I'll always eat waffles that's just like I, all, I always eat waffles, and the smell of butter makes me want to throw up. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, and I've gotten to a point where now I'm eating toast in the morning, but, um, oh my goodness, it's just like, ugh. Also, I can always feel Lilia now, I can always feel her whether she's asleep or awake. Like, I can always, like, I'll po I can poke at something, and she responds to my pokes and my touches and my stuff, and... Especially if she's like in an uncomfortable position or something where something's kind of sticking out Like I'll poke at it and then she'll like move to the other side and it's so cool because it's like ah, She can feel me and it's, it's just so awesome. I'm also I'm still feeling hiccups daily. I feel her hiccup Basically every single day. I th I'm pretty sure I feel her I feel her hiccup every single day and other people can feel it too like I'll put someone's hand on whoever like Gabe's mom or my mom or Gabe or whoever I'll be like touch my stomach and it'll be like <laughs> and they can all feel it and so it's so cool because like I can feel it differently though because I can feel it on the outside too if I have my hand on my stomach but it feels different inside of me like I can't even really explain it and like if you if you've been pregnant and your baby has had the hiccups then you'll know what I'm talking about but um it's so cool like on the outside it feels like a little tap kind of and then on the inside it just feels different. I don't know. <laughs> it's just different. And I have been craving chocolate. Like I love chocolate. Like I've always liked chocolate, but I'll just get these sudden like, oh, I want chocolate. Like fudge. Oh my gosh, I just want chocolate so bad. And I've, I finally gave in and let myself have um, part of a chocolate bar yesterday. Because I don't want to eat too much chocolate because it's not good for you. We bought the dresser finally and we bought it from Walmart and it's the brand is Storkcraft. It's a dresser slash changing table and it's gonna go right here, right next to where I am. And I'll show you guys as soon as it gets here. It's supposed to get here between April 1st and April 7th. 
So, um, it's before my baby shower, which is what I really wanted because I want, we're going to have this room, like the door that's right here, we're going to have it open so people can kind of come in and go out and like, just like see her room and see what it looks like so far and stuff like that. So, um, we should have that by the baby shower and it's really cute. It matches the crib kind of. I think it might be a little bit more like cherry colored, like, cause the crib is called espresso, but it looks really cherry for being espresso. Cause some of the espresso colors that you can buy are like black. And so it's not like the black one. It's more like a cherry one. And right now it looks really dark, but that's just the lighting. <laughs> We had our last birthing class last week and it was really good. I'm so glad we took those classes. It was just, it was so worth it. Those classes were so worth it. They were so informational and I learned a lot and Gabe learned a lot and it was just so worth it. And so I'm really glad that we took those classes. My doctor called me, or my doctor's nurse called me last um, Friday, I think. Yeah, she called me on Friday. And um, I remember in my last video, or the video before that, um, the video that was after my last appointment, um, I talked about how I'm anemic. And he said it's not a lot at all. But she called me and she said, Doc, uh, Dr. Pont, who my, that's my doctor, um, she was like, Dr. Pont said that he wants to get you on some iron pills just for a month. And then have a follow-up appointment on um, just how everything's going. Just go to the store and buy some over-the-counter iron pills. And... Um, take them for a month and then we're gonna like check up on you later and so now I'm taking um these pills these iron pills so ferrous sulfate and I started taking them this morning and it made me I don't know if it was the pills that made me sick but oh my goodness I was I have been nauseous all day long like about an hour after I t an hour or so after I took them I started just feeling really nauseous like Oh, I'm gonna throw up nauseous and so I think cuz I know iron pills can have the side effect of nausea I'm wondering if it's just the iron pills or what it is so but I took it with a full meal I took it with my prenatal vitamin which I always take with breakfast and so I don't know but I have just been sick all day Ugh, yuck so if you guys know if that's why or whatever then just let me know <laughs> My ultrasound, my 3D40 ultrasound is next Monday, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what she looks like and to, just to get to see her again. And so, it's, oh, that's so awesome. And uh, I hope I hope that we can get some good pictures and some good footage. I hope she's not, like, covering her face. Because remember, at my last one, she, she was like this most of the time. But we've still got to see a lot of um, her moving and stuff. So I'm so excited, and of course I'm going to post it. Um, up on YouTube, and so look out for that. But yeah, it's next Monday at 12.30, uh, and that's Pacific time, so I'll put it up sometime on Monday, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do my video on Monday next week, because it's spring break, so I'll have to work around, um, like, Easter and stuff, so um, I will, uh, but I will post a video next week. I will definitely post a video, and it'll probably end up being on Monday anyway, but, um, just a heads up, it might not, so. <laughs> Alright, and I have a question for you guys. Um, for the baby shower, um, I've been looking up some, like, fun baby shower games online, and I found a couple that I like, but I want to know if you guys have any suggestions for baby showers. Um, something, we're going to have a lot of people there, and probably, and a lot of them are going to be guys, too, because it's co-ed. So, I don't want any, like game where you have to sit down and think. I don't like those, I don't want those kind of games. I want more of the fun, upbeat games that you can choose whether or not you want to play. And so these are the ideas I have so far. So um, my favorite, which I'm really looking forward to, is um, I've seen it call, be called a different couple, a couple different things, but I'm just going to call it bottle races. And we're going to have the guys, so the guys can get involved. Um, whoever wants to play, they're going to drink um, some kind of soda or something. If you guys can think of something that's fun to watch people drink and um, and kind of hard to take down. Not like too hard, but I don't know. That's what, that's the reason that we were thinking soda is because of the carbonation. But um, not beer because <laughs> we don't drink. But um, that would be awesome. So that's my favorite one that I'm really looking forward to is they have to suck the the liquid, whatever the liquid is, through the bottle and whoever wins um, gets a prize. <laughs> also, we um, I saw this game on a website and it's called What Will Baby Look Like? And you print out a sheet of um, features like eyes, nose, lips, um, smile, I don't know, just stuff like that. At the top it'll say mommy and daddy 
and the people who want to play, they'll take the piece of paper and they'll mark down whether they think the whether they think um, that the baby will have mommy's eyes or daddy's eyes or mommy's lips or daddy's lips or mommy's nose or daddy's nose. So that's cool just to kind of see what people think. And also this is this was a suggestion from my friend Sarah and I think this is so cute. Um, it's a game where you have a paper plate and you put the paper plate on your head and um, you have to draw what you think Lilia will look like but without looking. So you have like the plate on your head and then you have to draw the thing and then me and Gabe get to choose a winner. That will be interesting. <laughs> also we're doing the diaper lotto so whoever brings a pack of diapers to the baby shower um, will get their name put in a basket and um, well at the end of the baby shower we'll pull out a name and they'll get a cool prize or something like that just so we to say hey we need diapers <laughs> and that's all we can really think of right now we have a couple others in mind just I don't want to have too much I guess is because there's gonna be a whole bunch of people there and I don't want people to feel like oh another game oh another one let me know if you guys just have like a good idea that you think would fit this type of baby shower 